this whole thing in the Middle East, it's... Yeah, I mean, they're going to be head... They're going to... They're going to... This is... You know, please don't throw me in that briar patch, right? I mean, that's that's what's going on here. Although they're they're saying, please throw me in the back. In the, you know, it's it's, it's it, it, these ISIL guys or ISIS, the Islamic State, whatever you want to call it, Islamic State. They're they're begging us to send soldiers over so that they can have video of blowing up soldiers. I mean, these guys are you know they're they're they've really got their their social media thing down and the media is playing along with it and now everybody's like oh we got to get them we got to go get them they represent an existential threat to whom right they they represent a threat to the iraqi government let the iraqi government deal with them they got billions of dollars coming in from oil revenue do they really need us and our money there's some very good air forces in the region the saudi air force is huge Saudi Arabia doesn't really want to do all that much against ISIS because you know, it's, they're, they're all Alawites. They're all so anyway. Here's what uh, Lindsey Graham had to say over the weekend. Uh, Shano found the clip. Here it is. The first thing I want to tell the American people from my point of view, it is our fight. It is not just their fight. Really? This is a radical Islamic army that's pushing the theory of a master religion not a master race like the Nazis. This is not about bringing a few people to justice who behead the innocent in a brutal fashion. It's about about protecting millions of people throughout the world from a radical Islamic army. They're intending to come here. So I will not let this president suggest to the American people we can outsource our security, and this is not about our safety. There is no way in hell you can form an army on the ground to go into Syria to destroy ISIL without a substantial American component. And to destroy ISIL, you have to kill or capture their leaders, take the territory they hold back, cut off their financing, and destroy their capability to regenerate. This is a war we're fighting. It is not a counterterrorism operation. This is not Somalia. This is not Yemen. This is a turning point in the war on terror. Our strategy will fail yet again. This president needs to rise to the occasion before we all get killed back here at home. Lindsay, respectfully, put a sock in it. Uh, I mean, this is absurd. Why? By his logic, right, you've got a. You've got a radical fundamentalist group that is Muslim, that is Sunni Muslim, a radical fundamentalist Sunni Muslim group who is terrorizing the people that they occupy, who's killing people with impunity. Boko Haram. Boko Haram in Nigeria, and now they've moved into into, uh, western Uganda and other, you know, parts of, of, you know, Central Africa. Central and East Africa. Boko Haram is larger than ISIS. They are, in, if not more radical than ISIS, identical to ISIS in terms of their their positions with regard to the, uh, uh, you know, how cheap human life is and how women are not fully human. Women are the products, uh, properties of men. I mean, look at this. They kidnap hundreds of girls from girls' schools, and not just the one that made the big press. They've been doing this for quite some time. Kidnapping girls and selling them into sexual slavery or giving them to their to their uh, fighters as gifts. You want to go at, you know, come on, Lindsay, you want to you want to take on a, a, a right wing Muslim group that that, you know, hates us and hates everybody. Go after Boko Haram. But see, I don't I don't even think that's our fight. These are regional wars. These are regional battles. These are regional actors. These are regional bad guys. You know, if Tim McVeigh, God forbid, had had stayed on the lam successfully after he blew up the Oklahoma uh, federal building and killed hundreds of people, including all those kids who were in the day center and daycare center in there, and then went on to blow up a couple more buildings, and then went on to do you know other. I, Should we ask Canada for help? I mean, should Europe be putting together a coalition to help us with, with, uh, you know, right-wing fundamentalist Christian terrorists in the United States? They've certainly killed enough people, 
Ask George Tiller. Oh, you can't. He's dead. That's right. The right-wing Christians killed him. We have an active terrorist movement inside the United States. It's metastasizing. It's growing. You saw the tip of it at the Bundy Ranch. Isn't that something for us to deal with? Isn't this something that the United States should deal with? And, if, and, and to the extent that we've got a problem of narco-terrorism or, or people smuggling terrorism that crosses borders like the United States and Mexico, isn't that something for the U.S. and Mexico to deal with? Does, does France really need to, 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 to you know, start airstrikes along the, 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 the Mexican border? Or wherever, you know, in, in Michigan where the Michigan militia are hanging out? This is a regional fight. And the countries in the region are not all that enthusiastic about the battle. I would dump this in the lap of the Saudis. Say, you guys help create all this. Good luck. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 866-987-THOM. You say, oh, what about the Yazidi sitting on the mountain, you know, starving? Well, cool. You know, humanitarian aids and effort, good. Eh, maybe some airstrikes, but no, no war.